much uh, negative information, too much, too many negative news from the mass media, and uh, this is, uh, as a result, uh, establishes a, a, a negative uh, uh, psychology and uh, a pessimistic mode for especially for young people. So.
inside the system, and then the students can look in this information, and they can go if they think that these uh, uh, news articles are positive enough, so they can be uh, positive news inside the portrait system. Uh, every newly created inserted uh, news article is automatically categorized in one of the predefined uh, categories we have put inside the system. Uh, the application supports three different types of users and visitors who can view the, 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 positive, the, positive, the positive articles and the comments on these articles. The registered users, uh, actually the students, who can vote write or comment on articles and the administrators can do everything. Uh, about the web page structure, it depends on the, the different types of users we have. Of course, we have a, a header and a footer, navigation bar to see where we are, and we have two main uh, information uh, menus, the internal information menu and the external information menu. For the internal information menu, uh, we put in categories all the news articles we have put inside our application. With the external information uh, menu, we see all the latest news from the news channels we have incorporated in our system. Uh, when we say news channels, we mean, um, uh, for example, uh, uh, sites like uh, the Discovery News, or uh, National Geographic, or uh, UNICEF News, or uh, Archaeology Magazine, and things like that. All, all these uh, sites are inserted in, uh, in the system and we take information from these sites in order to show them to the students so they can vote for them. The outcome is, uh, is this. This is a typical uh, um, page, web page of the application. As you can see, we have a header and a footer, of course. An application bar which says where we are. A menu on internal information which categorizes all the information we have inside and uh, a menu on external information with all these uh, news channels we have connected uh, uh, inside the portrait application and then in the middle, in the information presentation area we see the result of our choices. This is uh, for the visitors for the students now who are, who are the real users, the registered users we have one uh, uh, more menu, the user menu, uh, through which uh, uh, students can uh, uh, manage their account or they can manage the, the articles they have uh, already made or the articles they have already voted. This is uh, a typical web page for the students with uh, the additional user menu. For the administrators uh, now, uh, things are easier. We have a single user menu with all the functionality the administrators uh, need in order to change information inside the system. Another presentation issue is, is news filtering. We use news filtering uh, in uh, many places inside the, the applications in order to isolate some, uh, because the information is too much, we have to find ways to isolate some articles from others, or we have to find a way to, to sort uh, articles in a different way. The most popular ones, are the most recent ones, the most, uh, the less popular ones, and things like that. So, as we said before, the main function of uh, this application is news voting. We can do this by pressing the like this uh, button for uh, every uh, article we see inside the, the system. Uh, this can be done only by the users, meaning the students. Uh, for each article, each user can give only one for the uh, vote. And uh, uh, on this uh, article then, uh, uh, students can make comments. Visitors can uh, read the comments, they cannot write the uh, comments. But the uh, user students can do both. And of course, students can uh, create their own article, they can write an article, and uh, then they can edit on it if they see any mistakes. And of course, each newly written article takes automatically one positive vote from the creator. A uh, few words now for the uh, administration. We have some uh, additional functionality. This is a summary of the additional functionality. So the administrator can hide, can edit, or can add news categories, new news categories, categories in uh, the system, or news articles, or news channels. They can put website, external website.
sites that uh, can be inside the system so students can see the current lines of these new sites. They can uh, hide the edit or add the news uh, comments on the, on the news articles, or they can manage the users by adding new users or editing uh, existing users or disabling some users that want to they don't want them to continue with the system. For the implementation uh, now, uh, we use the, the model view controller design pattern, which means that the, in our implementation we separate the data data model from the presentation model, and there is a controller after which decides which information to present according to the different types of user we support. Uh, inside the system, we have uh, incorporated a user aggregator, which is used to uh, collect the web feeds from the connected news channels. So the implementation uh, was in PHP language. Uh, we used JavaScript uh, language for uh, active components, CSF technology for the web uh, page layout, and MySQL uh, database for the organization of the information. You can see if you want uh, the application in this uh, URL, it's under the uh, website of uh, our laboratory, Intelligence Systems Laboratory. For us now, the IT experts, we have to make uh, ICT applications that they are very well designed, but also they have to be manageable and acceptable by the users. Because uh, if the students don't like the uh, the application it is not useful. So we have to be very careful how we present this kind of applications. And uh, finally, uh, we developed Podrain uh, as a, a web-based application for training students to search and collaborate with other students or with their teachers in order to distinguish and highlight positive news articles. Um, as I said before, 500 students, they get they got registered in this uh, application. Uh, the duration of the, of the project was about 15 months, but the active months were, were the last five ones. Uh, the results were positive, of course. Uh, but uh, I, I have some objections uh, about the, the shortage of time for uh, students from different schools and different countries to start uh, collaborating. Uh, it was, it was uh, a little bit uh, of uh, small teams from uh, different from, uh, from schools. They were interacting between each other, but not between all of them together, not all of them together. So uh, I think that we didn't have enough time in the project to do all this, to, to make uh, students believe that they can collaborate and they can communicate with uh, students from other uh, schools, from other countries, and they exchange ideas on the articles, they have voted. Future work, we didn't have time to put uh, a new user type uh, with the teacher role, which is very significant. The teachers made uh, a lot of work in this uh, project, and you cannot uh, see it uh, here. And of course, uh, <coughs> two matters that are significant for us is uh, the automatic search on the internet for uh, <coughs> articles. Uh, it's not very easy. And uh, of 